How's it going everybody? Today we are going to be making a fade in effect in UpBGE. Alright, so we're going to open up to a new scene. All we're going to do is press 7, go to top down, add a camera, uh, G and Z twice to bring that camera up, 0 to go into the camera, and then we are going to add a plane. So what you're going to want to do is go into your favorite art program, GIMP or whatever, Photoshop, and make yourself a gradient PNG. It has to be something that with an alpha channel in it. So what we're going to do is add a new material, go into textures, add a texture, open, go to wherever you have your texture stored. So mine's here. I have it at labeled as fade full, press tab, U and reset. So now you can see we have this gradient on this plane here. What we're going to do is now scale this plane up so where it fills the entire screen actually you know what we're gonna we're going to rotate z 90 degrees so it fades in the other way so now that we have this plane with a gradient on it we can go down to alpha enable alpha go to material make material shadeless go down to transparency and make that completely transparent that way we can see through it now what we're going to do is go into UV editing, go into our camera, go into texture mode, and we're going to just drag this over. You can see once we get this, uh, this little thing in the corner here, drag it over. We are going to then click on this and make a properties section, press tab, and then we're going to click on fade full. So as you can see, we reset it and the texture already fits in the texture we chose. So now what we're going to do is go to game properties, animate tiles. The X is very important. We're going to put this at probably, let's go six. And then the Y is doubling whatever it is. So if we put two, that's going to be six by two. So 12. As you can see, we have an end frame of 11 because we're starting at zero. Speed, we're going to put this at about four. So now for a very important step, we need to save the file. Otherwise, this will not work. So we're going to call this fade test 2, since I think I already have a fade test. Now that we have it saved, we can go out of this, save it again, file, and we want to open our recent file. This will fill it all in. So if we press P, as you can see, we have a fading effect. Now it's a little bit choppy because I have it only at 4, but 4 is pretty smooth anyways. But that's how you make a little bit of a fade effect in a BGE. Now you can apply this by using an overlay. So if we were to make another scene, let's just go copy settings, make a little scene here. We're just going to go mesh, plane, add a lamp, add a sun, rotate, add a cube in the scene, like so. Sounds good, looks good. Add a camera, grab camera. Now I'm not too worried about anything, but what we can do is go all the way to game logic, go to scene. Now we have our little scene, go into our camera, click on the camera, add always, and then we are going to add a scene. Always overlay. Add overlay scene, scene 01, no, scene. Now, if we were to press P right now, it'll just be an infinite fade in effect. So what we're going to do is go back to our fade scene, click on the camera, add a delay and a end object and set it to a delay of 25 and then have it end the camera. So that'll make it so when we go into our camera in our main scene and we press P, you can see it fades in and then scene is shown. Anyways, everybody, that's pretty much all it is for the simple fade effect. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next.